Carissa, when this incident first happened on February 10th, a police report went out and both the league and the Kansas City Chiefs were notified. The Chiefs, the first thing they did was reach out to Kareem Hunt. They sat him down. They said, Kareem, tell us everything about the night. Were there drugs involved? He said, no. Were there weapons involved? He said, no. Did you put your hands on a woman? He said, no. Did you leave the hotel room? He said, no. At that point, the league, based on the league policy since 2014 in the Ray Rice incident, takes control of the entire investigation. It's out of the team's hands. The league had an open investigation. They made efforts to try to research and see what happened in this investigation. However, as time went on, they were not getting much. Fast forward to Friday. The video comes out, and it is the first time that members of the Chiefs organization saw the video. They went back to their conversations with Kareem Hunt in February, where he told them face-to-face -face that nothing of this sort happened. At this point, the chief said it's time to cut ties. We have to release him, not only for the deplorable video itself, but for the fact that he wasn't open and honest with us. A lot more details will come out on this, but Kareem Hunt is no longer a Kansas City chief. His NFL future is in doubt. Mm. You, you know what? Hats off to the Kansas City Chiefs. They, they, they did exactly what they needed to do for this situation. Uh, it's unfortunate for everybody involved, especially that young lady. Uh, and, and I look at it, what has to happen for these young players to understand that obviously this is unacceptable behavior. You're, you're building up, you're chasing your dreams your whole career, and then you get to a certain point, and in a snap decision, you make a stupid, stupid choice, and now your career can be totally derailed and your dreams crushed, and it can change the course of your life, though. Something has to happen. I hope this is another example for those young players out there to know that there is an alternative. Just, just keep your cool because there's a lot riding on it, and especially, it, it's just unfortunate for everybody. Yeah, you're right, Tony. And Kareem Hunt made a terrible mistake, and he compounded the problem by not telling the truth. I myself was in the same situation when I wasn't forthright with Arthur Blank or Commissioner Roger Goodell. And it's easier to tell the truth than have to remember a lie. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen, and kids all across the country. By far for Kareem Hunt, this is not a good situation for him. You're never supposed to put your hands on a woman. And I hope he learns from this, and I hope he finds a way to better himself moving forward. Thank you.